Hello there puzzle friends, we're here today with another video about jigsaw puzzles and today is a special video <laughs> like I like to, I use, I usually say uh, either way I do make, uh, I do try to make um, different and interesting videos for you and this, to, this time it is somewhat different I don't know if you can call it a puzzle haul or maybe you do call it this a puzzle hall. Maybe the native speakers can help us out. Uh, what actually today is, today we are going to show you, I'm, I am going to show you a number of uh, jigsaw puzzles that are actually vintage jigsaw puzzles and that, I, uh, that they are much older than I am, let's say for example. So and without further ado, let's start. Here, here is the first one. Uh, these these jigsaw puzzles are uh, from uh, the decade of sixties, so quite old, as you can see. Uh, this one is the only one that has like, actually a picture of it. The other ones are somewhat different. You will see them in a moment. And these are the big ones, two thousand piece. And here are the mid both dimensions in inches and in uh, centimeters. Uh, it's called Henley on Thames, Oxfordshire. Uh, and it's a picture of a landscape picture of a city, let's say, of a river. So, and let's see how actually the pieces from that long ago look like. Uh, these are second hand. Well, how can you find them first hand so wild puzzles? Uh, they are, yeah, it looks okay, the print. It's somewhat uh, not so sharp as it, would, as it would have been today, but then again, well, that's to be expected. They are quite old. Uh, the cardboard is somewhat thin. Yeah, you can actually a little bend them, this I made. A little bad, but uh, they do look quite sturdy. I, so I do believe they uh, would be feasible to make. They look some somewhat. Yeah, I would not say the, the the brand name. They I do have a brand name that comes into mind that have somewhat of this quality, but then again, you may think that the quality that I would say it, it would be bad. And uh, this time, this uh, guy that put it to, uh, to, uh, together or put it back in the box has actually put the round pieces, the edge pieces, on a different bag. There are many jigsaw puzzles who, li who like to do that. Uh, me, on the other hand, it's something that um, it's somewhat. Um, Undifferent, let's say. I am a type that most of the time usually do the borders first, but uh, I don't need to have them uh, in a separate bag or something like this. And when it comes to 2000 pieces, which was the last one too, I would have to do some kind of sorting, so I would go through the, the pieces. This one is uh, from Tower Press, the other one was uh, from a brand called uh, Whitman. I did some research on them to see how old they are because sadly they don't state it on the side. They have some code numbers such as this. I did find a side that had some of them. The side was quite um, interesting with a lot of puzzles from that time. But from the optic, from the user interface, it was somewhat old. But I do believe that... that um, it was uh, from a, a guy who, was, who was probably was not that much of an internet geek or something like this. Which is also okay. He was a puzzle geek and that's what we needed in this specific case. Either way, uh, let's go to this one. These are from the Tower Press. I did uh, read about the Tower Press that uh, they are... Um, uh, they were the, jigs the biggest jigsaw puzzle company in the world at that time. What high, what means that time? Uh, it means from 1930 to 1969. Also, this means these jigsaw puzzles are at least 
from 1969 and older. Uh, I did like this because it was not a picture, as I said, it was somewhat illustrated. And I wanted to see how it looked like, the illustrations from that time. This one has the tier title Country Town. They do have here a train, which I really like. These small details, here is the river with the arches. I do believe this is uh, would be very interesting to puzzle, actually. And here we have a church. Also, it, it looks really, really interesting, at least to, to my eyes. Garage, chairs. And here they have some boats. Let's see how are the pieces, if they're the same. Uh, no, they are somewhat thicker. Well, um, it is somewhat to expect it when they were the, jigsaw, the biggest jigsaw puzzle company in the world. They should probably be also a good quality. Also, a good quality, not the best quality necessarily, but a good quality. The puzzles are somewhat long or different, which is interesting. I, I wasn't sure if that was a corner piece, but then again it couldn't be because I bought all this from the same guy. Uh, it was kind of um, bargain. And here are the edge pieces again. The colors look somewhat fade, let's say. Let me bring them closer to you. Somewhat fade, but then again, they may wear from the beginning. So, but they are quite clear. As you can understand what is actually happening. And when I see these patterns on the, I do believe this would be a funny jigsaw puzzle to make. It doesn't look that much of a difficult. I do believe the other uh, picture would be much more difficult than this one. And they also stayed on a, a, on extra heavy board. I actually the other one, which I'm going to show you now. But let's show you to you, and then we will talk about it. This one is uh, two five hundred pieces, and uh, I actually like this one. Uh, they uh, somewhere they stated that this is the biggest jigsaw puzzle yet, or something like this, which is quite interesting for that time. Uh, this is a different one, it's uh, Evening Harbour or something like this was the name. Interlocking pieces, which is also quite uh, the world's largest cardboard jigsaw. Here, the world's largest cardboard jigsaw. The dimensions for this are somewhat bigger, 80 times um, 115 centimeters approximately, and here also in, are in bigger the inches. Which I find it quite interesting that they state the inches in a, as a much more important uh, e information. And I do believe one of them had uh, only inches. Uh, when, why do I say I find it interesting? Because they are, were made in, Eng in England, in the UK, which means Europe. And in Europe, we most of the time use the centimeters. But maybe that's not the case for England. I'm not sure. I know that in America they use the inches, but in Europe we will use centimeters. But then it may be another way. Uh, from people I asked, they say that they don't have a specific type of measuring. They have everything in, Eng in England. If that's the true or if that's the case, I'm, I don't know. So, uh, a harbor, as I said, uh, this would be also interesting. Here is also the church. It looks like it reminds me somewhat of. Uh, I do believe there is a jigsaw puzzle that has some uh, similar uh, modern jigsaw puzzle, but I don't recall where it is. It's a, a series of houses. Also looks like this here some people also here are also two. Also it's interesting to see small details, life or something like this. Again from the tower puzzles. And let's go to the next one, which is uh, this one, the old marketplace. It's also an illustrated. Here is uh, also, again, what I said with the dimensions. It looks like interesting. I do believe from the three of them, I like the most of them, the 
This one with the town, the country town. Gold metal. Gold metal was a series from the... And it had to do with uh, how big the jigsaw puzzle were. Those 2,000 pieces. And this one is also interesting. This way I will show it to you again. Uh, because... Ah, this one also, I did it. I did see they do have some thicker card boards, and I do believe they say also they state it also extra thick cardboard or something like this. Also, this one looks somewhat of a different quality. The print is somewhat the same as the other one. Again, the the round pieces are on a different bar. And what's interesting inside here is that, the, that we have also another part which looks of a different quality, more of the quality of the first jigsaw puzzle. So my guess is that uh, we don't actually have four, one, two, three, four jigsaw puzzles, but we have a fifth one, which probably the box was destroyed or something like this. Again, with uh, pieces on the side. Uh, so we have also have a jigsaw puzzle that would be a surprise when it comes to what the picture it is. It's also an interesting thing. And I have one extra for you. And this one is uh, quite younger. But still not young. This one is from the MB Puzzle Company. The 3000 pieces, also more pieces than the other ones. The picture is uh, a Japanese tea house. Interestingly, it was called Japanese pagoda in some other languages. Although pagoda is something else, the, tree, the tea house. Either way, it looks uh, interesting. Here are the reflections also on the small pool or a small pond, maybe this is a pond. Um, the, tr the pine trees, uh, it's also, it's very interesting. I really like the Japanese themed pictures and I also have uh, bought a jigsaw puzzles from Japan as I went there, which I actually have posted on the channel. And I, I'm, I really like to go again when it's either more freely to travel and buy another batch of jigsaw puzzles from Japan. This one is, as I said, 3,000 pieces, and why I turned this on the side, because I wanted to show you... Um, here they say... Here they said... Where did they say it? Here. Here they state... 1983. So this jigsaw puzzle may be from 1983, of a 1983 design. Because here I also see something different. Here they say 1986 on another side. So I'm not sure which one it is. But either way, you get the point. This is somewhat 40 years old puzzle, a little less than 40 year old puzzle. Which means, yeah, it's also old. But. It's, uh, it has costed more than the other ones, but then again, it was somewhat uh, special for me, so, this is, so that's the reason I also bought it. Uh, do you have any old puzzles? Or would you like to buy any old puzzles? Uh, feel free to, to write me in the comments, and I, really, I would really like to see if you have any old puzzles, or new ones for that matter. For that matter. Uh, that's it for me for today. Thanks again for watching. Happy puzzling. Stay safe. And until next time, goodbye.